How's it going everyone? Matt Roberts from Salt Lake City Bookkeeping. Today I'm going to do a quick video demonstration on how to link Microsoft Outlook to QuickBooks. I'll first go through how to actually establish that link within QuickBooks to Outlook, how to change the default email messages that go along with the forms, how to send a form, whether it's a statement, invoice, or other form, and the benefits of linking Outlook in QuickBooks. So let me switch over here to our sample company, Vandalay Industries. And the first thing is how to establish that link to Outlook. It's in your preferences under Edit, Preferences. You want to come down here to the Send Form Preferences. And you'll see two tabs here, My Preferences and Company Preferences. Under My Preferences, all you have to do here is click Outlook and hit OK. And as long as you have Outlook established on your computer, it will walk you through the setup procedures and establish that link for you. The next step is how to change a default message for all the various forms. Um, you can see on the Company Preferences tab here, you can change the default message for invoices, estimates, statements, whatever it is you're working on. Um, so you can come in here, change the message. You can change how people are addressed, whether it's dear or two, and you know, do you want to go just first name? Um, and then the subject matter, and if you want to put your signature in. Um, and you'll still have time to edit it one last time before you send it if you want to personalize it even further. So the next step is how to actually send that form. Um, if we go to our customer list here and take Pend and Publishing as an example in this invoice here, um, for the rollout tie dispenser, you'll see on the lower left-hand corner is a box to be emailed. If you just check that and hit Save and Close, that will automatically pop into the queue to be sent. Um, so now you're going to go and actually send that form. Under File, Send Forms, you'll see we've got a couple of them in here. One to Pendant Publishing, one to Kruger. Let's say right now we don't want to send that Kruger one. You can just uncheck it. Um, and we're going to send the Pendant one, but maybe we want to customize this and make it a little more personal. You just highlight it and hit Edit Email. Um, and then you just hit Send. It pops into your Outlook, into the Outbox, and eventually into Sent Mail. Um, so that's kind of how you, you go through the whole process and a couple of the benefits are, the obvious ones are saving um, time and money. You're going to save a lot of time by not printing invoices, putting in envelopes, putting postage on and mail it. You're also going to save money on postage. But the biggest benefit is definitely going to be the increase to your cash flow. Um, by using electronic accounts receivable procedures, what you're going to do is get better cash flow. You're going to get that invoice into your customer's hands quite a bit faster um, and that's going to result in getting paid faster which is going to increase your cash flow. So just a quick video demonstration on how to link Outlook to QuickBooks. If you have questions on this or anything else bookkeeping or QuickBooks related feel free to reach out. You guys have a good one.